So you've seen this before on Coco's videos, so this time I will show you how to configure it properly, and say some more stuff between. Oh, and in case you're wondering, I'm Coco's great 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 grandfather, created by Anime Voice Studio the QT version. Fuck, you're old. So on behalf of Generation L, this is a feature that it can steal lots lots of GNOME users, and also make current Plasma guys happier. In fact, there is already an open discussion for creating such virtual desktops in Plasma 6, and moreover, merging the stupid activities too. Okay, first of all, this is a KWIN script and you can get it from this repository on GitHub, and you will find the installation instructions somewhere below. You can also get it from KDE Store, but I don't recommend it for important things, because store stuff don't always work good with updates. The next you want to do is to enable it from KWIN scripts panel. Logically it should be already enabled upon the installation, but you can set some more options anyway. For example, you can disable the blur background, and so when you open the overview the blur will be still there. We need to press F5 for changes to take effect. Don't ask me why, but we should be thankful that is an F5 followed by an apply button. Another thing you may want to do here is to install the toggle parachute script from store. So now if you go to screen edges preferences, you can enable parachute by hitting the corners. And I'll say for one more time that Plasma does terrible on their edges mechanics. Nothing similar to GNOME hot corner awesomeness. Even if only one, doing one thing only. But the very most important thing to do, is to bind parachute to super key. So you can go inside overview and easily switch applications or workspaces with a single key, plus the arrows if you don't want to use mouse. You'll find instructions on this bug report that I will link on YouTube description. Next of course you need to rebind your main menu shortcut. So configure, and keyboard options, and I will set that to super and A. It won't work for some reason, but you should follow this guide nevertheless. And the final step is to fix your virtual desktops grid. So if you have something like that, which is a two rows grid, it is better to make it a single row just for having a more logical interaction. Meanwhile, we can use both implementations at the same time. With Super and S I open Plasma default grid, and with Super alone I open Parachute. Anyway, so we want to open Virtual Desktop Settings, and then we want to set one row. Apply as always, and we don't need this window anymore. So now we have this single row that makes a perfect sense on Parachute, because we only need to use left and right arrows to switch between workspaces. Let me quickly mention two issues. Here we see I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 workspaces, but we can't add or even remove any. What we can do, is to go to Plasma's grid and edit them from there. So if I remove 1 here and go to 5, then we're gonna have 5 here too. The second and much more significant problem, is that when we're getting on overview the panel is get hidden. That's greatly reducing the usability, and it also completely changes the workflow for comparison from Dome, especially if you're using Dash to panel extension. I'm not going to get bothered with the bugs, that they are unlimited and keep coming to you. I'm not going to bother with the polishing either. I mean, look the placement of these windows, look the title bar. That's so beyond than simply calling it tragedy. But if things turn out more ugly than the usual, you can try to open K-Runner, and do a plasma shell or even a K-Win replace. And if that doesn't work either, then you can open Plasma Settings, go to Compositor Panel, and try a few options there. And yet, with all these problems, this k script greatly improves Plasma user experience. In fact, without it, Plasma is a non-go desktop, at least if you rely your workflow to workspaces. <laughs>